Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the base set format, taking it all the way back to the original format of the game. On one side, we've got the Machamp and Alakazam deck, going up against the Gyarados and Blastoise deck on the other side, so we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, I'd like to remind everybody that the channel is reaching 300 subscribers, so please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so we can make it to 300 before the end of the year. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Machamp side, we've got Machop as the active Pokémon, and on the Gyarados side, we've got Chansey as the active Pokémon with the Magikarp on the bench. The Machamp side is going first, benching a second Machop and equipping a Fighting Energy of the active one to attack with Low Kick, hitting Chansey for 40 damage, as Chansey is weak to Fighting-type Pokémon. On the Gyarados side, Magikarp gets a Water Energy, and that's going to be it for the turn. Turn passes back over to the Machamp side. A second Fighting Energy is equipped to the active Machop. And there's the attack once again, another Low Kick. Chansey's now taken 80 damage, it's only got 40 left. 40 HP left, rather. And turn passes again. A second Energy is equipped to Magikarp, and it wants the Gyarados now. Gyarados just needs a third Energy to start using its Dragon Rage attack. Okay, turn passes once again. There's still no trainers being played on either side. A double colorless energy is equipped with the active Machop, and it evolves into Machoke. And here we finally see the first trainer, Professor Oak, so the player can discard their entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. So let's see if we get any new Pokemon coming into play. There's the seven cards being drawn. Here we see a Chansey coming down for the Machamp side. And the second trainer is going to be a Pokemon Trader to swap out a Doduo from the player's hand for... Let's see what they're going to be searching out. An Abra this time. Okay, so they're looking to build up their Abra to evolve into Alakazam. It's going to be the main support Pokemon of the deck with its uh, Pokemon Power Damage Swap. And there's the attack. Uh, Karate Chop hitting for 100 damage, taking a KO against Chansey, and Machamp takes the first prize. Gyarados comes up active and gets its third energy to start attacking with Dragon Rage. Are we going to see any new Pokemon or trainers? Yeah, we see the maintenance card. The player has to shuffle away two of the cards from their hand to draw one card from the deck. Let's see what they get this time. Now they're going to be playing their own Professor Oak to discard their entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. Looking to get some more Pokemon into play as Gyarados is on its own for now. Here we see another Magikarp and a Squirtle. All right. And there's the attack, Dragon Rage, hitting Machoke for 50 damage. Pretty powerful attack for this format. And let's see what Machoke can do on their next turn. Machoke evolves into Machamp. It's got 100 HP, but it's still within KO range of another Dragon Rage attack. There's another Fighting Energy coming down to the Machamp. So it's able to use its Seismic Toss attack. Are there going to be any more evolutions or trainers coming down? Let's take a look. Yes, a second Professor Oak is played by the Machamp side, once again discarding their entire hand to draw seven cards. Let's see what they get this time. They're going to have to start building up another Machamp on their bench, as the active one is in danger of being knocked out. Okay, another Pokemon trader once again swaps out the Doduo from the hand for... Let's see what the player's going to get this time. An Alakazam this time, okay. Is Abra able to evolve this turn? Do they have the Pokemon Breeder in hand? They do! Pokemon Breeder evolves Abra directly into Alakazam. And now with Alakazam's Pokemon Power, Damage Swap, all the damage from Machamp is moved onto the bench Chansey, and Machamp is refreshed and ready to go. And there's the attack, Seismic Toss. Normally hitting for 60 damage, but Gyarados is resistant to fighting type Pokemon, so it only takes 30 damage. The Bench Magikarp evolves into a second Gyarados, which also gets its own water energy. And there's the attack, Dragon Rage, hitting Machamp for 50 damage. But Machamp's Pokemon power strikes back, also activates, hitting Gyarados for 10 damage in return. Turn passes over to the Machamp side. A Fighting Energy is equipped to the Benched Machop. And here we see Damage Swap once again, moving all that damage off of the Machamp onto Chansey. Chansey is really good in this deck to soak up any damage that the active Pokemon is taking. Though the player does have to be careful not to load up too much damage on their side. 
Okay, and there's the attack, another Seismic Toss, hitting Gyarados for another 30 damage. A second Water Energy is equipped to the Benched Gyarados, and we still see no War Turtle or Blast Toys for this side. But there we see another Dragon Rage, hitting Machamp for another 50 damage. So far, Machamp has taken 150 damage, but still has not been KO'd because of the damage swap. There's another damage swap being activated again. <laughs> combination of Alakazam and Machamp is really hard to take down. Oh, and there's a Pokemon Center completely healing all of the damage that Gyarados has dealt. Oh, that hurts to see. Pokemon Center heals every damage counter on its side of the field at the cost of also discarding all the energy from the Pokemon that it healed. But since uh, Chansey and Alakazam have no energy, nothing gets discarded. The Seismic Toss knocks out the Gyarados, and Machamp takes a second prize. The second Gyarados comes into the active spot. And there's the third Water Energy. Pokemon Breeder finally evolves Squirtle into Blastoise, and Pro Professor Oak discards the entire hand to draw seven cards. And now with Blastoise in play, the player can accelerate as many Water Energies as they want per turn. A Squirtle comes down, a Super Energy Removal is played, discarding one of Gyarados' Water Energies in exchange for discarding two of Machamp's Fighting Energies. So now Machamp will, won't be able to attack for at least one turn. Water Energy is equipped to Gyarados again through the Rain Dance Pokemon power, and there's Energy Retrieval being played, discarding a Switch to get back two of the discarded Water Energies. Are we going to be seeing these Water Energies being attached? Let's take a look. Not yet. There we see another Dragon Rage coming down. 50 damage is put onto Machamp and 10 onto Gyarados, once again from the Strikes Back Pokemon power. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing all the damage being mo moved again through the damage swap ability. Another Fighting Energy is equipped to Machamp getting it ready to attack again. Yeah, and there's a damage swap. Moving everything off of Machamp once again onto Chansey. Not giving the Gyarados side... Any turns to take it, sorry, any chance to take any KOs? It looks like. Oh, that was a mistake. The Machamp player tried to attack, but looks like they forgot that they don't, they don't have enough energy. Luckily, it was caught in time. The Bench Squirtle evolves into a War Turtle, and there's the attack, Dragon Rage. Once again, hitting for 50 damage. Gyarados is going to be taking 10 damage from the Strikes Back Pokemon power, and turn passes once again. There's a damage swap coming through. Chansey's now got 100 damage on it. Energy Retrieval is played to discard a card from the hand to get back two Fighting Energies. There they are. So Machamp will be able to use its Seismic Toss attack this turn. There's the Energy Attachment. And there's the attack. Seismic Toss hitting Gyarados for 30 damage. A lot of back and forth going on in this battle. A fourth energy is equipped to the Gyarados. Maybe to use its Bubble Beam attack. Actually, no. It's going to be discarded through Super Potion to heal 40 damage off of Gyarados. So the Gyarados side also has its own healing trainers. There's the attack. Dragon Rage. Another 50 damage is dealt onto the Machamp. So Machamp has taken... How much damage is that so far? I think 300 damage so far, but still no KOs. There's damage swap once again, moving all the damage onto Alakazam this time, as Chansey is pretty close to being knocked out. Does the player have another Pokemon Center? A Fighting Energy is equipped to the benched Machop. An Item Finder is played to discard two cards from the player's hand to get back any discarded trainer. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Pokemon Center. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it was. Pokemon Center to once again heal everything from the Machamp side. <laughs> so once again, Gyarados has to start from square one. That's got to be frustrating for the Gyarados player. There's another Seismic Toss hitting for 30 damage. Let's see what they can do this time. No cards being played, going straight for the attack. Dragon Rage, once again hitting for 50 damage, which I think brings up the total to 
350 damage so far and still no KOs. <laughs> Computer search is played this time to discard two cards from the player's hand to then search the deck for any one card to add to their hand. There's a chosen card. Let's see if the player's going to be using it this turn. Oh, it looks like the Gyarados player forgot to use the Machamp Strikes back ability last turn to put the damage onto Gyarados, so they just did it right now. Damage swap moves all the damage off of Machamp onto Chansey once again. And there's the attack, Seismic Toss. Now Gyarados only has 10 HP remaining, so if it attacks Machamp, the Strikes Back damage will take a KO on, on Gyarados. So the player opts to switch out the Gyarados to promote Blastoise. Blastoise uses its Rain Dance Pokemon power to give itself 3 energy, and there's the attack Hydro Pump, hitting for 40 damage. As Hydro Pump is a little bit weaker than Dragon Rage. And strikes back, hits Blastoise for 10 damage. On the Machamp side, all the damage is moved once again off of Machamp out to Chansey. And that's going to be it. There's the attack, Seismic Toss, this time hitting for the full 60 damage, as Blastoise doesn't have any resistances. A Water Energy is equipped to the benched War Turtle this time. Looks like the player is going to be looking to evolve into their second Blastoise pretty soon. And there's the attack, Hydro Pump, hitting Machamp for another 40 damage. Let's see what the Machamp side can do. Another Item Finder! Are they going to be getting back their Pokémon Center to once again heal all their Pokémon? Actually, no, it was a Professor Oak this time. To draw seven brand new cards. They might be looking to get a couple more evolutions onto the Machop. Though admittedly at this point they don't really need it as the active Machamp has been sweeping the opposing side so far. <laughs> it's so hard to take down because of Alakazam's Pokemon power. There's the attack Seismic Toss taking a KO against Blastoise and Machamp has now taken three prizes. The Gyarados player uh, thinking about what they're going to be doing so they choose to promote the War Turtle. Squirtle is put down on the bench, and War Turtle cannot attack, so that's going to be it for the turn. Turn pass over to the Machamp side. The Machamp player benches a second Chansey, and then plays Item Finder to discard two cards and get back. It looks like it was a Pokemon Breeder to evolve the Machop into a second Machamp. And now that's just cruel. The Gyarados side can't even knock out one Machamp, and now they have to compete with two. Damage swap moves all the damage off of Alakazam onto the second Chansey, and there's the attack. Seismic Toss, hitting War Turtle for 60 damage. He's only got 10 HP left. Oh, and nothing is played. There's no trainers, no evolutions, no energy. The Gyarados side is really falling behind. Machamp player attacks with Seismic Toss to take another KO, and now they're down to two prizes remaining, while Gyarados has taken none. Gyarados does come up into the active spot. And they play a Super Potion to discard a Water Energy and heal 40 damage off of Gyarados. Do they have another Water Energy to attack this turn? They have Lass. Okay, now both players have to show, show each other their hands. And then shuffle away all Trainer cards. And it looks like that was the last Trainer card in the Gyarados side. They have no cards left in hand at all. That hurts to see. Yeah, that's, that's all they can do. They pass the turn. Turn pass over to the Machamp side. A third fighting energy is equipped to the benched Machamp now. So now both Machamp are fully powered up and ready to attack. Though they don't have any more Pokemon centers as it was shuffled away last turn with the last. And there's the attack. Seismic Toss hitting Gyarados for 30 damage. And... Oh, perfect! They drew a bill to draw two more cards from the deck. Do they get an energy this time? They got energy retrieval, which is just as well. Discarding the other card from their hand to get back two water energies. Now Gyarados will finally be able to attack again. Yeah, at this point, they're just playing for pride. <laughs> I don't think Gyarados can make a comeback at this point, so they're just going down swinging. 
Dragon Rage hits Machamp for 50 damage. And it takes uh, 10 damage in return. There's Alakazam using its ability once again to move all the damage onto the second Chansey. Yeah, this deck is pretty unstoppable the way it's set up right now. Oh, and a third Chansey to soak up even more damage just to add insult to injury. Seismic Toss takes a fifth KO and it's down to a lone Squirtle to bring it back. <laughs> Squirtle gets a water energy to use its bubble attack. There's the attack hitting for 10 damage, and will it paralyze? No, it will not. Sorry, Squirtle. You did your best. Ch Machamp draws their final card, and there's the attack. Seismic Toss to take a KO on Squirtle and take the final prize. And there's the handshake. Machamp is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.